if we have an equation like y is equal to the absolute value of x, and we substitute x for minus x and get the same original equation, then that equation is symmetric about the y-axis. x is equal to 2 gives the same value as x is equal to minus 2. If we substitute y for minus y and get the original equation back, then that equation is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. When y is equal to 1, x is equal to minus 3. When y is equal to minus 1, x is also equal to minus 3. If we remove both x and y, substitute minus x and minus y, and get the original equation, then that equation is symmetric about the origin. x is equal to 1 and minus 1 don't give the same output, nor does y is equal to 1 or minus 1, but the point 1 comma 1 equals to the point minus 1 comma minus 1. An equation can satisfy all three forms of symmetry, symmetric with respect to the x and y axes and origin as shown here. By definition, functions can't be symmetric with respect to the x axis. A function can be symmetric with respect to the y axis, in which case it's an even function, or it can be symmetric with respect to the origin, in which case it's an odd function.